Time Jumpers, Wendy Mess, Book Number One, Stealing the Sword, Art by Oreo Vin Vidal. Chapter One, The Adventure Begins. Sold, Trish shouts. His younger sister, Eva, hands the cat sculpture to the latest happy customer. Ever since Chase turned nine and a half, his parents have let him and Eva help out at their flea market booth. This made their fourth sale today. They also sold two chipmunks, elf, and a tree. Some people might think you can make art out of string, playing cards, and marbles, candy bar wrappers, and rubber bands, but you totally can. Your parents made these sculptures? The woman asked. Handing her money to Chase. Yep, Chase replies. Where most people see trash, our parents see treasure. They call, found art. He doesn't mention that when Ava, Eva, Ava was little, she called it fart for short. This made them all laugh, even mom, who claimed she was only coughing. Our parents' regular jobs are pretty stressful, Ava adds, handing the woman her change. They carry briefcases and wear boring shoes. She wrinkles her nose like she smells something bad. Chase tries not to laugh. No one would ever call his sister rhinestone covered tie dyed sneakers boring. The woman hugs her new per chase as she walks away. Ever snaps a picture with the camera she keeps around her neck. Chase high fives Ava just as their mom turns around. You two are getting along nicely, she said. We make, we make a good team, Chase, Chase admits. Mom, the flea market closes soon. Can Chase and I go sh shop at the other booths? Eva asked. Your mom hands them four dollars each. Stick together and be home by five for dinner. We will, Chase promised. Chase and Eva hop onto the bikes and ride deep into the flea market. Chapter 2, An Old Suitcase. Chase stopped at a used books table and spot the perfect book. 101, Funny Facts from History. He loves facts and he loves history. And who doesn't like to laugh? Hey, Eva, Chase said. Which president wore the biggest gloves? Give up? The one with the biggest hands. Eva groans and gets in line for the funnel cake. At the next few booths, Chase gets a snack of comic books, a bag of dice, and ru a Rubik's Cube. He runs out of money after buying a plastic dinosaur with movable legs. Ava buys a pair of oversized sunglasses, pictures frame, and a tie-dye tattoo tutu to match her sneakers. I still have one dollar left, she said. Your bike basket won't hold all of this stuff, Chase says. His eyes land on the brown suitcase. It's a little bigger than the briefcase his dad carries to work, but much, much cooler. We could use that, Eva, pointing at the exact same suitcase. They rush it over to it. They rush over to it. The suitcase is even more interesting than up close. The corners are back, matched up, and the handle is worn. The stickers are on the front are torn and faded. But Ch Chase could still ma make out Egypt, London, Rome, and South jo Doka. Dakota. That, that one's not supposed to be there, the young woman selling the suitcases said. The lock is jammed. There's no way to open it. But Ava says, can I try? Sorry, it's not for sale. The woman turns away to help another customer. Eva sinks her knees to the, and touches her fingertips to the lock. She looks up at Cass Chase. Did you feel that? Feel what? Chase said, nearly asked, kneeling beside her. Like a chill going through you, she asked. I didn't feel anything, Chase said. Not too worried. He's used to Eva's big imagination. Eva touches the lock again. She presses harder this time. The soft whoosh and a louder click. The lock springs open. It worked, Eva shouts. She unlocked the suitcase. The woman working at the booth turns around. How'd you do that? The lock opened when I touched it. 
Now can we buy the suitcase? Eva starts to lift the lid, but the woman reaches out and snapped it closed. Sorry, she said, taking the suitcase by the handle. The original owner would never want me to sell it. Chase is disappointed, but he stands up and said, I understand. Last year, my mom sold my dinosaur puzzle without asking. You know, I do not do jigsaw puzzles anymore. She knows how much I like dinosaurs. He loves dinosaurs. Eva corrects as she gets to her feet. He never goes anywhere without his dinosaur hat. The woman looks at Chase's hat. Where did you get that? I got the hat on a class trip to the Natural History Museum, he replies. One of the scientists there gave it to me. Tell her why, Chase, Eva asked. It's kind of a big deal, Chase reddens. The woman tilts her head, waiting. Chase looks down. I pointed out that the hat had the bones of Brontosaurus labeled belong to the Apatosaurus. Someone had made a mistake because the Brontosaurus got its name back. The woman finishes. Exactly, Chase said, raising his head in surprise. She smiles. I like dinosaurs too. My name is Madeline. I'm Chase, he replies. And this is my younger sister, Eva. Only younger by 13 months. Eva is quick to add by usual. I think maybe this belongs to you after all. Madeline thrust the suitcase at Chase. Can we keep it? Eva asked, her face light, lighting up. The woman nods. Thank you so much, Chase says. Then he remembers they've spent almost all their money, but we have a, only have a dollar. Just take it, Madeline turns away. Eva grabs Chase's arms and whispers, Let's get out of here before she changes her mind. They walk their bikes to where the flea market blends into the park. The suitcase backs against Chase's leg. The heavier, it's heavier than he expected. I don't think it's empty, he says, as they leaned their bikes against a tree and plopped down on the glass. Time to find out, Everett replies. She is swinging open the lid. They both gasp.